Hey you, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the daily challenge for March 28th, 2023. The character of the Yang Clan and the modifiers are specialized. Start with five copies of a single card. Certain future, the map contains only one path. And Night Terrace, resting or rest side seals 100% of your HP, but costs five max HP. I see not many scores that pass the thousand. That makes me a little worried. So I wouldn't be surprised if with specialized you have to go for collector bonuses, but with certain future it's hard to get anything other than the thing you start off with. Let's review the scores from yesterday though first. So no familiar names in the top 20, but then you have lots of names after that. So Mike has 1950. That's a really good score. Chef in the Cloud with 1882. So Chef took the tiny chest and thought that that was sort of, uh, that meant that the run was over, but ended up doing really well. Perfected 13 out of 16 elites. Um, so just like me was able to get 16 elites total um, and then perfected all the bosses missed the insignia modifier by two cards uh, was able to get six collector bonuses which is more than i think most people got um, so yeah really good score congratulations there then you have yawas with 1878 and warpal with 1857 warpal didn't take the tiny chest but also got 16 uh, elites so i think there's an interesting discussion that shadow pointed out that i think so having the tiny chest makes every fourth question mark room be a treasure chest which means that the probability of getting elites decreased by 25 percent but then because of tiny chest the probability of getting an elite in previous question mark rooms is higher and i think yesterday was a great example where it, it sort of evens out we uh, people who didn't and did take the uh, the tiny chest end up with the same amount of elites so uh, yeah vorpal was able to get the or actually went for highlander modifier rather than collector bonuses um and then i, I don't think that was super successful you can imagine if vorpal had decided to go for collector bonuses instead would have been easily able to get more points although then it's hard to say whether he would have been able to perfect things um but then also skipped a few question mark or well at least one question mark at the end to take a shop to be able to buy more things so yeah pretty decent run there then you have david who also twitched uh, streamed on twitch with 1852 david got only 15 uh, elites total um although david did take the a treasure chest um perfected 13 of them got five collector bonuses uh, interestingly david took different paths skipped a few more question mark rooms end up with only 20 total i had 23 and i was maximizing all the question mark rooms Okay, so moving on, you have Bjorn with 1852 as well. Bjorn perfected 13 elites, um, perfected all the bosses, got three collector bonuses, so a little on the low side. Um, was able to get the overcome modifier, but wasn't able to get combo. That actually reminds me that uh, David was uh, doing a power deck uh, mostly and was able to get combo fairly easily and overkill, of course. And then it's me here with 1832. That's not bad. I perfected 13 elites, um, got five collector bonuses, and yeah, as I said, maximized all the question mark rooms. I didn't, I wasn't able to go for combo, and I also lost a little bit on time. Uh, I'm tied with Pelts with 1832 as well, Rado hath 1830, Flicknickum 1805, Panda 1803, Merrim Game with 1778, and Amelda 1777, so everybody pretty close bunched up together. Uh, Malzan was 1773. Uh, Malzan perfected 13 out of 15 elites. Um, so Malzan didn't get unlucky with the question mark rooms, just took the wrong path on Act 2. So missed one elite, could have been uh, a potential extra 45 points. And then got five collector bonuses and um, also missed the overkill modifier. And Malzan blames the, um, the or Mercury Hourglass for killing enemies too quickly before the Dark Orb was able to really grow, which definitely is a concern. Uh, I think I only got uh, the overkill modifier thanks to the loop. That allowed my dark orbs to grow much faster. Then you have Alex here with 1757. Um, and I think that's it for the top 100. A few people missed the top 100 just barely. You have Andrew here with 1702 and Shadow with uh, 1680, which are pretty still still pretty good scores. Uh, and then I should also point out that um, White was playing on the iOS version, was able to get first place. Um, the modifier yesterday, instead of the flight modifier, was a green cards modifier, so obviously not that many elites. The scores were closer. Well, White score was around 1400, so that's what happens when you don't have tons of elites. Uh, and then also Mr. Meeseeks and Robin pointed out that I definitely could have used the energy potion a few times. Um, I guess I, I did. I mean, I kept it for until the very end. Uh, there are definitely some Tempests I could have used it with, um, but I, I just completely forgot that I had it. Anyway, let me reload without mods. I'll be right back. All right, we got five copies of Metallicize, which is actually not that bad of an idea. I do have to be a little careful. I need to pick up some good offensive cards to be able to get through some early fights. I do have the Hexagos at the end. So yeah, as always, three question mark rooms, one elite, one shop. I shouldn't say as always. I think there's sometimes I think you can get unlucky and get two question mark rooms, but usually three. All right, let's get started. As, as I mentioned, I do want to pick up as many offensive cards as possible. Okay. And then, I mean, I might as well play the... Oh, should I just do three strikes? Next turn, I'll have tons of metal sizes. You know what? Yeah, let's do the strikes while I can. Actually, I have a bash. No, I just have the bash. I thought if I had a bash and one more strike card, I would have been able to kill. I mean, I can get up to 15 um, metal size, which is pretty good. 
And maybe I should get some of those upgraded too. We got a strength potion, body slam. Unfortunately, it won't work with metallic right? because it triggers afterwards. And I don't have any reason to believe rupture would work here. Let's take the severed soul for now. It's a solid uh, offensive card. Okay. And double strike metallicize. All right. Six incoming. Yeah, let's do one more metallicize to be fully defended. Mm -hmm. And then another nine. Uh, well, yeah, sure. Let's do one more metallicize bash. And then hopefully I'll be able... Actually, Sever Soul kills next turn, right? Good. Okay. Um, another Sever Soul. I mean, if I'm going for collector bonuses, I am... You know what? Yeah, let's take it. I was trying to think if I should take the Iron Wave instead to gain some block. But yeah, let's take another Sever Soul. And then here I have 12 incoming. I'm going to heal back anyway, right? So let's do two strikes. And then I'll do defend. Mm -hmm. All right. And now I'm not being attacked. I can kill... Well, here. Let's do... Strike you then sever soul that way I won't be weakened although it doesn't matter because any attack card will allow me to kill next turn like so good Okay, we got a liquid memories potion cleave twin striker armaments cleave is not a bad idea some nice AOE damage There's no reason to believe twin strike will be good. Let's take the cleave armaments might be nice that way I could upgrade things All right first curse there. That's a doubt curse. Okay, and then here Yeah, let's take the uh, heart of iron between the attack potion and fair in the bottle, I don't think I need either. I just realized I could have tried to just remove four metallic size and go for the Highland modifier, but no, I don't think. I mean, I'm already starting off with collector bonuses, but might as well stick with them. All right, at least I can fully defend here. Yeah, almost fully defend here. Okay. All right, well, this definitely helps. Okay. Well, it helps with the fact that I'll be frail most of the time. Um, Yeah, I think I should do one strike and one server soul. Okay. And we will transform 33. Yeah, the problem is I don't have a lot of damage, right? Let's do bash. And then, okay, cleave will transform. That's good. Or should the vulnerability is wasted, though. All right. And then, no, at least I can get rid of one slime with the sever soul. Also get rid of the defend, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. And then strike to kill. Yeah. Well, I, ideally, I would also get rid of the curse with the sever soul. All right. Strike. I'm fully defended. Might as well do this. Yeah, the, these, this fight is taking forever. I really need to get to my strong attack damage cards faster. Or pick up more, I guess. Anger, Dual Wield, Sword Boomerang. Because I have these ever soul, I wonder if I should take a zero cost card like Dual Wield. Oh, sorry, Anger. Dual Wield would work better with Anger. Yeah, let's take the Anger for now. Okay. Yuria is interesting. It's expensive, though. Very expensive. Let me take the Disarm. That will definitely help against the Hexaghost. I can still afford the Gearia, but these cards are really good. Dark Embrace is not going to really be useful here, right? I guess I can trigger with Silver Soul and Disarm. Might be interesting. I would like more energy for that to be really useful, though. Dropkick is not bad either. These are all good. Yeah, with certain features, it's almost impossible to get enough out of Relics. So let me ignore the Relics and take Dropkick, Whirlwind, Dark Embrace, and I can't afford the Intimidate by 3 gold, which is fine. Uh, I don't need a Potion either. Yeah, it wasn't... I, I don't think the Intimidate was super necessary. So I think I should upgrade... Well, no, let's upgrade the disarm for the Hexaghost. Until then, let's upgrade the Bash, because now that I have the... Um, what's the name of the card? I have the Dropkick. It might be good to have the Bash upgraded. Let me also sort A to Z, because I am trying to go for collective bonuses. Okay. All right, here I got Tor Tori Ornithopto. I'm going to use a Potion Heal 5 HP. That's nice. And then Slaver and Louse. Um, the Whirlwind is unfortunately close, but not quite enough. Sever Soul will kill the Louse. Uh, here, let's do Defend and Sever Soul. Okay. And then seven. Actually, wait. I have to lose HP. I just I almost forgot about that. I still have two regular fights. I have to make sure I lose a lot of HP in both of them. Uh, let's do anger, metallicize, sever soul. Get rid of the curse away, which is nice. Mm -hmm. And then twelve incoming. I can do bash strike. Yeah, I'll might have considered playing in metallicize there, but I should be able to kill, especially with a drop kick. Come. Okay. All right. Heavy blade, thunderclap, searing blow. Definitely not searing blow. Maybe thunderclap. Let's take it to help with the drop kick. Right, like villain, not the best fight here. If I do Sever Soul, I'll lose a bunch of defense, so let's skip this turn. Ideally, I would play a bunch of Metal Says it's just one here. That's a little disappointing. Okay, I do have the Heart of Iron that I'm kind of considering of using. So I'm up to nine block already. Eh, it doesn't matter if I play the attack or not, right? If I get two more Metal Sizes here, that's 12 18. Yeah, fine. Let's do Metal Size and then drink the Heart of Iron. It's. I should have done drop bash dropkick first. Ah, that was that was dumb. I'm trying to think if there's any way I can save the potion. No, no, let, let's play safe. This this guarantees a perfect, so we might as well do that. Uh, let's do bash here. Okay. 
And then here, um, I don't need another metal size. Let's do Thunderclap, Strike, Whirlwind. Okay. Now I just have to deal damage. I think because I'm fully defended every turn, this is going to be boring. So I'll speed this up. I'll be right back. Yeah, as I predicted, that was fairly straightforward. We got Peace Bag. You can now remove cards from your deck at rest sites. Carnage is really interesting. Sentinel would be better if I can exhaust things more deliberately. Let's take the Carnage. Okay. All right. And then next upgrade. Should I start up? No, let me upgrade the Disarm now. And then I think I'll upgrade the Metallicize next. Okay. All right. So I would like to lose a lot of HP here. So I'm going to avoid playing the Metallicizes. I would like to kill the minions that make me weakened. Um... Just to make it easier to then kill the enemies that, um, you know, I have to kill. But yeah, let's take a bunch of damage here. Um, I'll do a bash, a drop kick, and maybe drop down to like 30s. And then the next fight I can drop down to 17, which is what I need for the Hexaghost. Wait, I don't have... Yeah, I don't I don't rest. I don't rest at rest sets, right? I could do Whirlwind. Actually, kills a lot. No, no. Let's... Uh, here, I'll do Anger. And just wait. Okay. No, actually, that does bring me down to the 30s. Okay. Now I can kill, I guess. Mm -hmm. I'll do Thunderclap, and then a Strike. Okay. Yeah, take five more damage, and then I can kill. Although, I'll be weakened, right? So, well, here, I can do Carnage, and then... Ooh, the Strike is not enough. All right, fine, I'll take another three. Yeah, better safe than sorry. So, I'm already at 18, so I can almost perfect the next one. Uh, Impervious, Warcry, Iron Wave. Impervious is very interesting. I will try to go for Popper, so let's take the Iron Wave instead. Okay. And then here, yeah, so 17, I need to take a little bit of damage, which means, um, wait, uh, hang on. So I need to take 7 damage, right? So Iron Wave almost gets me there. All right, sure, let's do that. Mm -hmm. Yep, there's 16, and now I can not have to worry about things and try to kill. Let's do Thunderclap. Um, how much is Bash with the vulnerability? 11, that's not quite enough. Um, let's kill this one with the Anger. And then, um, do I want to take some damage? No, let me do defend here. At this point, I don't need to take more damage, I guess. Not much more, at least. Okay, so here, one is not enough, actually. Let's do strike. Another strike. Oh, the last strike is not enough either, right? I defended this. All right, sorry about that. Okay, so here... Okay, I'm taking way more damage than I would like. Um, I wonder if I should just drop down to... Um, what would that be? 7 HP? No, not 7. Sorry. Um, 11 minus 6, 5 HP. It's a little low, but I mean, I don't think I have a choice here. So, um, yeah, let's do strike, defend. That brings me down to, hang on, 18, 2 HP. That's a little too much. Uh, let's make that 5, okay? Hmm. All right, yeah, you know what? I think this is fine. I just have to make sure I don't accidentally die here, but I think I should be fine. Okay, yeah, I guess I'm dropping down to 11. Why not? Searing Blue Twin Strike Flex, not a huge fan. Uh, I guess I can take Twin Strike, sure. Yeah, better than the other cards there. All right, next I should upgrade... Actually, now I realize with Peace Bag, I could try to go for the Highlander modifier, huh? The problem is I already picked up a duplicate Sever Soul. No, let's commit with Collector Bonuses. Let's try to get some. I mean, I already have one, right? So let's upgrade one of the Metal Sizes. Oh. I mean, I'm guaranteed... How many uh, rest sites do I have? One, two, three. I'm guaranteed... I think I'm guaranteed three rest sites, right? Yeah, maybe I will try to go for a 4D Highlander modifier. All right, well, let's see how this fight goes first. Let me make sure I survive this. Let me also drink the Strength Potion, because I do have a little bit of a problem um, gaining enough block. Or, uh, sorry, dealing enough damage. That's what I meant. Okay. All right, 12 incoming. Wait, why is it 12? Oh, no, I drank a potion right before. That is a huge and dumb mistake, and I feel like I should reload about that. Oh, I can't believe this, because I didn't even need the Strength Potion on turn one. I mean, I dealt, what, four extra damage? Definitely not worth taking six extra damage okay let me avoid that for sure okay now i should have one time six incoming and that actually yeah with the metal size, i should be able to fully defend wow that was dumb okay and now i can actually drink the strength potion right unbelievable okay well oh boy all right um six incoming i'm fully defend here should i do sever soul i will lose a bunch of defense that way but i'm hoping to just fully defend with the metal sizes right so let's try that 10 incoming this arm is awesome here great let's do metal size and then um, a dropkick does more damage. I'm already full defended. Yeah, the disarm is a huge help here. All right, three incoming. I can do twin strike, anger, whirlwind. I think with the disarm and 13 uh, metal size, I should be fine. Let's do bash and strike. I just need to... Well, let's see how I can survive. I think the next big attack will be... 
I think still one times six because of the um, negative strength, right? Let's do free drop kick, then metallicize cleave. I guess the burns might become a problem, but I do have several souls, so I hope I should be fine. Five incoming. I think I have to do carnage rather than the several soul because I do want to save that carnage. It does deal a lot of damage. And yeah, one times six incoming. I'm fully fine here. Let's do thunderclap, anger, strike, strike. I mean, no need to play that, but sure. Mm -hmm. All right, and then all oh, the burns got upgraded. I still need to deal a little bit extra damage. Yeah, too bad I got the Sever Soul without any burns to get rid of. I'm very close to being able to kill, though. Just need one more attack. Yeah, I don't even think the uh, the uh, strength push was necessary there, but was able to perfect this one with a little bit of brain power. All right, uh, Limit Break, Juggernaut, Fiendfire. I think I'll try to go for Popper, and actually, I think I'm committed to remove... Wait, Pandora's Box of Pickup Transform All Strikes and Defense. Um... Well, if I take it, I'm not going to go for... It's unlikely I'll get the Collector Bonus, or the Highlander Modifier. I don't want Ectoplasm. I probably don't need Black Blood. Oh, boy. I had almost made up my mind that I should go for the Highlander Modifier, but now I'm thinking... You know what? Let's risk it. Let's take the Pandora's Box. All right. And I transformed one rare card, one duplicate. The rest is actually unique. Hmm, tempting, tempting. And the direct card is not that bad, double tap, right? Now, defensively, I think I, I lost a little bit there, so I just got the ghostly armor, nothing else. Um, that might be a problem, so I might have to rely much more on the on the metal size. Hmm, that might be a problem. All right, well, let's see. So I have one, two, three rest sets here, three rest sets in the next act. I have to remove one double tap, four metal sizes, that's five, and then one whirlwind and one sever soul. And I mean, I'm guaranteed a shop. You know what? Let's try it. Let's try Highlander. Why not? Let's still try Highlander, I meant to say. All right, so uh, lots of incoming here. Let's get rid of the doubt. The lack of energy is also not really going to help. I think I'm going to do Metal or the Iron Wave and Metal size to preserve some HP, because at this point I have to be careful. Mm -hmm. Another 20. Whirlwind does a lot of damage, but not enough. Let's do Cleave Warcry. Yeah, that's a problem if you don't have any defensive cards, right? Let me put the dropkick back. Hopefully, I can use it. And then this is 20 damage, and this is 16 damage to one. Oh, yeah, let's do 20. 20 total, I meant. Mm -hmm. All right, and then 16. Uh, bash is not enough. Even Well, actually, let's do bash. I can't double tap the dropkick, unfortunately. Let's do bash, then dropkick. And then, yeah, definitely not body sound. Let's do ghostly armor. Yep, yep, okay. That way I only take three damage. Unfortunately, this one is trying to run away with my gold, which I would like to avoid. Uh, can I avoid that? Uh, let's do Thunderclap, Twin Strike. Oh, that's not close. I sort of think I have to bring back uh, something, because I don't want to lose that gold. Uh, let's let's bring back the drop... Ooh, the drop kick was not enough. Okay, good, good. I was able to draw an attack card. All right, that was, that was a close one. Um, let's do Disarm Metal... Oh, I don't need the Metalysis, but fine. And then the enemy is vulnerable here. I should be able to kill with the carnage. Good. Got all my gold back. We got a block potion, which is useful. Pummel strike, wall strike, or well, uh, war cry. Let me just make sure I don't already have a pummel strike. I don't. I do have a war cry, though. Let's take the pummel strike. Come. Okay. All right. Got the birds here. Whirlwind would be great. Thank you. Um, yeah, let's just do a three energy whirlwind. Okay. And then I can do uh, anger, the, the weakest one, right? Rather than the strongest one. Mm-hmm. All right, nine incoming here. I can do Thunderclap. Body Slam is very useless. Let's see what the Warcry gives me. Fire Breathing. I mean, I only have one Curse, right? So it's not that powerful either. I think I'd rather focus on the Metal Sizes here. Okay. That way I only take uh, two damage. I do have to try to preserve uh, HP as much as possible. Um, here, I can definitely kill one of them with the Carnage. Any one, really. Um, but that's pretty much it. Yeah, fine. Let's do Carnage, uh, the stronger one. Might as well. And then I might as well do fire breathing, why not? Did I already discard the curse? I didn't. Okay, so that's six damage once I draw it. Another... Oh, right, because I have two whirlwinds. Yeah, sure, let's do it. I could have... Oh, that was dumb. I should have double tapped the whirlwind. That would have... Um, actually, I wouldn't... It wouldn't have killed the frontliner, but it would have dealt a little bit extra damage. All right, at least I can kill here. True grit, demon form, anger. Um, well, don't want uh, the demon form. I guess I'll take the true grit. Too bad it's not upgraded. Uh, Kunai, also very tempting, but no. Well, hang on. Trying to think if I should focus on, car on cards, but if I'm going for collective uh, for the Highlander modifier, let me first remove. What? Double tap? It's not that useful. Let's start removing the metal sizes. Yeah, I don't need that many. Although that is the only defensive card I have, pretty much. Let's take the power through to help with defense. 
And then I think that's it. Well, Sling of Courage is not bad, so I generally come with two extra, two extra strength, and I have enough gold to be able to afford that. This was a guaranteed question, uh, shop, right? Yeah, let's take it. Fine. Mm -hmm. All right, Cultist. Um, let's. I don't have vulnerability here, so I guess I'll just do Carnage. Yeah, the lack of energy is actually really annoying. Uh, and then Dropkick. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have to be careful in this fight. I might lose HP if I'm not careful. Uh, let's do Bash Rampage. Is twelve twenty two. That's not enough. Let me see what this gives me. Fire breathing is not really necessary either. Let's put this back. I still will do Bash and Rampage. Yeah, taking eighteen damage already. Hmm. I mean, I should keep the block potion for the lead fight, but it's a shame to lose that much HP. So I'll do Thunderclap here. Yeah, I guess the only defensive cards are my Metallicizes at this point. Mm -hmm. 24. Um, yeah, well, let's do Anger. Sever Soul. Can't believe how much HP I'm losing. And then Whirlwind. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I have 30 incoming. Well, at least I have Power Through. That's good. Um, here, let's do Ghostly Armor Power Through. Allows me to be fully defended. Okay. Hmm. 36. Or 30. Yeah, th 6. Whirlwind. A uh, 300 whirlwind kills one of them. But then I'll take so much damage. What if I do Iron Wave? Yeah, let's do Iron Wave first. That will give me a little bit extra block. And then do whirlwind. Okay. Alright, this guy has 15 strength already. Um, can I kill here? Um, well, first of all, I can't survive. Uh, unless I drink the block potion. What if I do... Hang on. Uh, Bash Anger is 19. That's not enough. Sever Soul, 16, 22. That's not enough either. Um, this is unfortunate uh, because I think I have to drink the Block Potion and then I can do Bash and Body Slam. What a huge waste of a nice Block Potion. Body Slam, Heavy Blade, True Grid. I already have the True Grid and Body Slam. I don't think I need Heavy Blade. I think I'll skip this one. Yeah, that was that was a tough fight. It's not going to get easier. Um, yeah, like this one. All right, let's do Thunder... Uh, no, let's do Iron Wave and Sever Soul. Mm -hmm. I wonder if I should drink the Power Potion to heal back a little bit the uh, Toynonithopter. Alright, at least I got Power Through here, and I can do the Metallicizes to be fully defended this turn. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not being attacked here, I think I have to do another Metallicize. Yeah, let's do that, just to be safe, and then I'll do Sever Soul, don't need the Double Tap. I'd have 10 block, I still need another 11. Okay, Ghostly Armor is really good. Let's do Ghostly Armor, Metallicize, and then Whirlwind. I also forgot that I already have a Heavy Blade. Okay. Alright, luckily I'm not being attacked here. Do I need to Fire Breathing? It's not gonna hurt, and it's better than the other choices. Let's see what I get here. Dark Embrace, I probably don't need that. Um, I think I'll just do Whirlwind here. Okay. Alright, I think with the um, with the Disarm, I should be in a g better position. Unfortunately, I still will take some damage. Oh, no, right, because it's negative 3 strength. Right, right, so it's only 12. Okay, so now I'm fully defended. Phew, okay, I'll speed this up. I'll be right back with, uh, well, hopefully victory. All right, got through this. Down to 11 HP. We got an Essence of Steel Potion, which might be very useful. And then I don't think, again, I'll take any of these. Flex might be fine. It's upgraded. Sure, let's take it. Oh, boy. All right, Book of Stabbing. I think here I have to drink the Power Potion. Barricade Combust Brutality. I don't think I really need Barricade here. Brutality. No, both Combust and Brutality will make me lose HP, right? Which I would like to avoid. So fine, I'll reluctantly take the Barricade. Let me also drink the Essence of Steel, the Barricade Metal Size. So at least I have 7 block here. No way I can fill it in, of course. And then let's do 32 damage here. Okay. Mm -hmm. 18. Um, Ghostly Armor is very nice. Almost allows me to be fully defended. Let's do Bash the Dropkick first. I don't think I can do the metal sets. Let's do the ghostly armor instead. Okay. Losing the plated armor every turn too. That's annoying. 21. Well, there's a disarm and power through. Both of them are very useful. And then I think I'll do metal set. I think I should be fine with six plate armor and the enemy having negative three strength. And I have me having the barricade. That might be my saving here. Um, so I have 13. Yeah, I'm fully defended here. Let's do anger, pummel strike. And then I don't think I'll do burning pack. Let's do carnage to not lose it. 15. Um, True Grid is 7. Yeah, I think I have to play that right. Uh, let's do let's do Fire Breathing, Thunderclap, and then True Grid. Okay. Mm -hmm. So far, I'm somehow able to fully defend. 18. Okay. Um, yeah, let's do Metal Size, Double Tap the Iron Wave. 
Yeah, I had to drink all my potions. And even that way, I still wasn't able to perfect, right? The first turn was very difficult. Um, here, I can kill with a whirlwind. All right, at least I survived. I was really worried about dying there. We got Pendip. Every 10th attack we play deals double damage, as well as a speed potion and rage. I think I'll take rage because I have so many attack cards and barely any defensive cards. All right, Cultus. I think this at this point, I should try to get rid of the Cultus first. Um, what I think I'll do is I'll do Disarm the Backliner and then just do Carnage. Okay. So I'll take four damage, but then the enemy, the backliner has less strength. And um, here, let's do bash anger. I don't think I can kill, so let's do true grit here. Okay, and then with vulnerability, I should be able to kill the cultist next turn. Yeah, cleave is enough. All right, let's do cleave, twin strike. Do I want to do met metal size? Yeah, I think it's it's not gonna hurt. I'll trade in one dazed for it. Oh, actually, here, wait, did I discard the fire breathing? I did, I did. Because I'm going to get a lot of days, I might have considered keeping that. All right, let's do Pommel Strike, Iron Wave, and then let's do the Upgrade Metal Size. Okay. All right, another 10. Well, good thing I have Metal Sizes here. Uh, let's do Flex Rampage, and then uh, Whirlwind and Dropkick do the same amount of damage. I could have done... Well, no, I think it's better to have Pendant ready for next turn. Uh, Heavy Blade is not that good. I could double tap it. No, I think instead, I'll, let's do Heavy Blade and then go say Armor. That way, I also will be fully defended. Mm -hmm. And then luckily, I'm not being attacked this turn. Uh, let's just do Sever Soul here. Okay. I could have done the Power Through. Well, it would have given me an extra Daste, which I would like to avoid. Um, here, let's double tap the Pummel Strike and then kill with um, Flex Anger. Good. Okay, we got a Fear Potion, which is nice. Shrug it off and Trench Reckless Charge. Let's take the Shrug it off to have a solid defensive card. And then Ritual Dagger, I'll lose HP, which I would like to avoid, and it's a little late for this, so let's take the gold instead. And then here I got Stone Counter at the end of turn 7, deal 52 damage to all enemies, which might be good in this deck. Alright, I think I have to remove things, right? Uh, yeah, let's continue removing... Uh, yeah, let's continue with the Metals. No, maybe I should remove the Metals as last, because I do need them for block. How about I remove the other duplicates I have? I had a duplicate. Um, there's a Sever Soul. What was the other duplicate again? Uh, wait, is it not sorted A to Z? Let me look at my deck real quick. Whirlwind, right. Yeah, let's remove the duplicate Whirlwind. I don't have extra energy, so I don't think I need it. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, got the Burden Chosen one here. Uh, probably disarm the Chosen one. Yeah, let's do that. Then do Shrug it off. And here, I think I'll do Fire Breathing, because that way I can probably kill everything with all the dates I'll get from the Chosen one. Mm-hmm. And then here, let's do Flex, Bash, and Twin Strike to get the bird to the ground. Okay. All right, so here I can kill with the Dropkick. That's nice. And then, yeah, let's play as, as many skills as I can. Mostly because, yeah, as I mentioned, that will trigger the um, the Fire Breathing. Six damage for every day that I'll draw. All right, didn't draw any there. Um, I could do... Well, I have to do Metal Sets to be well defended. Let's do that. And then Thunderclap, Anger, uh, double damage wasted there a little. Okay. And then here I can do Heavy Blade Rampage. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm weakened next turn. Well, actually, we can for the next five turns. Uh, let's do Power Through, uh, Metal Size, and Iron Wave. Okay. And then I think I'm guaranteed to kill. No, I only have two days. Well, I should be able to draw an offensive card too. Carnage, for example. Good. Okay. Wall Strike, Clash, or Super Boomerang. Not a huge fan of any of those. Maybe. Mm. If I have Sever Soul, then Clash is not a bad idea. If I have Flex, Sword Boomerang is fine. Let's take the Sword Boomerang. Not super happy with that, though. And then I think next I'll remove the duplicate. Should I remove the duplicate Sever Soul? Yeah, yeah, fine. You know what? Let me remove the double tap because I'm just rarely using it. it. Would work much better if I had extra strength. And this way I'm still in track for Pauper. All right, very happy that I'm starting with this arm. Brings it down to 12. I still am going to take damage here, though. Um, that's fine, though. Let's just do Bash. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here I'll do Metallicize, Anger. Yeah, let me do Burning Pack the Body Sum because I rarely use it. And then I got a free dropkick, which is nice. And then Cleave. Yeah, the Darkroom Base might have been a mistake too because I feel like I, I haven't used it yet. 12 incoming. Let's do Power Through. And then um, Twin Strike first, then Sword Boomerang. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, still not being attacked. That's good. I'll do another Metallicize. That way I don't have to worry about taking any incoming. Well, not quite. I still need to play two more Metallicize to really not have to worry about it. I'll do Flex, Metallicize, um, Iron Wave. Sure. And then I'm probably okay losing Ghost Armor. Let's do Fire Breathing. Because I just need one more Metallicize to be able to not have to ever worry about any damage. Yeah, let me... Well, actually, I think I can also just kill here. Good. 
Okay, we've got a fear in the bottle, which I might actually need. That way I don't have to rest at the next rest site, hopefully. Um, and then I already have Shrug it off and Body Slam. Let me take the Entrench, why not? Sometimes I come up with a lot of block. And it's pre-upgraded too. Special Relic or Transform 2 cards. You know what? Let me risk it and I'll transform uh, two. So I already removed... Wait, actually, one Sever Soul and one Talsis, right? Other than that, I already removed... Oh no, I got two Rampages? That's horrible. Oh, great. Well, I still have to remove two cards, I guess. Let me start on that right away. <laughs> I mean, if my deck was thinner, I mean, no, even even with a thin deck, three Rampage is just too much. Unless I'm going for Collective Monosis, although, yeah, fine. All right, champ, this is definitely going to be a challenge. Uh, let's start with Shrug It Off. Do I want to drink the Speed Potion? I would allow me to be fully defended and heal back a little. Not a bad idea. Let's do the Speed Potion. Then I can do... Um, should I do the Rampage? No, no, no. Let's do Body Slam and Sorbo Rank. Okay. What's that speed potion necessary because I have the um, at the rage? You know what? Let me reload quick. I don't think that's going to make a difference because I don't think I can defend this turn. But I probably should save the speed potion for a turn where I actually need it. Because, yeah, with the rage, um, I'll get 6 plus 8. Yeah, that's enough. I don't need the speed potion. All right, let's do rage. Then still do... Uh, well, I guess body slam does less damage now. Okay, fine. In that case, let's do rampage because it does as much damage as the body slam. Mm -hmm. All right, so still here I cannot fully defend, right? Let's do flex... Pummel, no, war, uh, Pummel Strike first, then War Cry. Now there's an Entrench. Oh, actually, I'm dead here. Well, not dead. I'm, I have to use the Fear in the bottle. Or, hang on, if I drink... You know what? Let's throw the Fear Potion and drink the Speed Potion. That way, I'm still alive by 1 HP. Let's do Twin Strike Anger. Might as well play this. Okay. That way, I keep the Fear in the bottle for another turn, which might be more useful. Um, yeah, here I'm definitely... Yeah, here I'm going to use it. That's fine. I cannot defend, right? I only have 10 block. All right. Uh, double damage whirlwind with vulnerability? Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Okay. Still very pathetic. Only 30 damage there. All right. I'm at 24 HP. Let's do dropkick. I think I have to play the metallicize. I don't think there's another chance here. Then fire breathing. Do I want the power through? No. No, I think I'll just stop here. Okay. Mm -hmm. 24. Uh, well, I am still alive, but just barely. And honestly, if I die here, I have no idea what I'm going to do differently if I reload. Okay, well, there's a disarm. Brings it down to 13. Uh, Metal size gives me 10 block, and that's pretty much it. That entrench has been very useful so far. Alright, not being attacked here. I guess I'll deal damage with the Stone Calendar this turn. Um, I don't want to lose the Carnage. That's my strongest attack damage card. Okay. Alright, at least I'll cause a transformation. I have no idea I'm going to defend after the transformation, though. Yep, no idea whatsoever. Let's do Thunderclap. Do the Rampage and another Rampage. I don't think I stand a chance at all. Yeah, 48 incoming. Nothing I can do. This is where I needed that potion, right? Um, Let me... I'm going to reload once to see if there's something that I can do to avoid losing that um, the the fear in the bottle. But I don't really see a chance here. Um, I'll speed this up. I'll be right back. Yeah, all right. I think I'm willing to give up here, mostly because I tried so many times. First of all, it's almost impossible to not be vulnerable. Every time the enemy is doing the big attack, I'm, I'm always vulnerable, which is very annoying. And then, yeah, so the, obviously there's no way I can kill. There's no way I can defend. Let me let me try one more time, and I guess what I'll try to do is I'll try to deal as little damage as possible and just play the... Um, the what do you call it the rampages and try to get those upgraded that might be a, a strategy let me try this one more time i'll be right back
All right, no, I tried. So I got one Rampage up to 28. The other one, I don't think it was very powerful. Um, I guess it's my draw pile. Yeah, the other one is at 18. Even with that, there's no way I can, even if I draw them in the right turn and got Pendib ready, there's no way I could have killed here. So I think I'm going to give up here. I was trying to think what I would do differently if I reloaded. And unfortunately, I don't think there is anything to do. So the big question was whether I could have gone for Highlander collector bonuses. And I think... Um, I don't think either would have saved me here. I didn't see any good attack cards. Uh, having three metallic says was hard. A certain future modifier made it very difficult to get anything better, uh, which also explains why nobody was able to get such a good score or any any good score. I got 384. I think the champ was biggest, basically the biggest problem. Um, even if I rested before the champ, I still think I would have had trouble. Now, I do want to give a shout out to... Um, who did I see in the top uh, 40? Flick Nickum. Yeah, 882. That's a very low score, but still, I mean, that's better than dying. So very impressive. And then um, I just don't see a way to get through this fight. Out of curiosity, all right, I'm 1500th place. Oh, look at that. I'm a few points below uh, Yavos. I assume that Actually, that's interesting. I assume, yeah, I assume everybody here died probably around the same place, around the champ. Um, yeah, just just unfortunate. I think this is sort of one of those runs where the combinations, I mean, certain future makes everything hard and then specialized doesn't make it easy, right? So, uh, and I wasn't offered any good cards. Yeah. Uh, let me know in the comments what you did if you had any way to, to get through the fight, not even perfect things, but just get through it. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.